Welcome to class guys, it's another English language period and today we'll be looking at verbs. Now you may want to ask why we need to explore um, or look at a topic like this. It's because this topic will not come out as verbs in your work. Of course you will see lots of questions relating to verbs in paper one. Okay, so you need to take this seriously. Now let's look at our lesson objectives. One, we'll be describing verbs. Two, we'll be looking at the different classifications of verbs. And three, we'll be composing sentences using the appropriate forms of verbs. That will be your task for the day. Now, verbs are words used to describe actions, states, occurrences, and of course, forming the main part of the predicate of a sentence. Okay, so the major thing, of course, remember that primary school definition of verbs. Verbs are action words or doing words. Now, what are the classification of verbs? We have firstly, we have lexical and auxiliary verbs. We also have transitive and intransitive verbs. We have finite and non-finite verbs. And lastly, we have regular and irregular verbs. Let's quickly look at lexical and auxiliary verbs. Okay. Lexical verbs are otherwise called main verbs. That's because they carry their meaning in them. So they can stand on their own and they make sense. Okay? So they can stand without anything added to them. And, and of course, being a powerhouse of every sentence, and lexical verbs will still um, make sense. So examples of lexical verbs are laugh. For instance, in the sentence, she laughed at me. We are laughed. Is a past tense form of a lexical verb. We have run and of course we have dance. Let's look at auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs are known as helping verbs. Okay, now you understand why we have to pair lexical and auxiliary verbs. Okay, lexical verbs are main verbs, auxiliary verbs are helping verbs. So auxiliary verbs cannot stand on their own. Okay, so they are they can come in two forms. We have the primary and the modal auxiliary verbs. Now, the primary auxiliary verbs, they are in three forms. We have verbs be, verb, I mean, verbs be, do, and have. And all of these have their variants. All of them together are eight in number. Okay? All of them are eight in number. Let's see if we can come up with them. Is, am, um, are, was, were, okay, um, Okay, we have have, we have as, we have had, we also have do, we have does, we have did. Okay, a lot there. Now, we also have modal auxiliary verbs. You know them already. We have can, we have could, we have may, we have might, we have shall, should, we would, must, ought to, used to, need, there. Lots of them. Okay, transitive and intransitive verbs. Simply put, transitive verbs take objects okay so we have i baked a cake where i is the subject where baked is the verb but the fact that it's followed by an object means that it is a transitive verb of course in transitive verbs take no object babies cry a lot where babies is the subject cry is the verb and of course there's no object there okay finite and non-finite verbs this is quite um, serious, okay, but let me help you. I've put some clues here to help you um, know um, what finite verbs are. Finite verbs are verbs that show agreement with a subject, okay. They also are marked for tense, and finally, they can be inflected for tenses. The major thing about um, finite verbs is that they are always in the singular and, of course, in the plural form. Sorry past or present forms, okay, and they show tense, okay, they show tense, basically present and past tenses, okay, then they can be inflected. She cooks, where cooks is also the singular form of the verb cook. Now the last one for that part is the non-finite verb. This is a form of verb that does not show a distinction in number, person, or tense. But there are some things that will help you recognize non-finite verbs. They come in the ing forms, okay? 
present participles, and they can also come as gerunds, okay, as present part, I mean, uh, participles. That's present continuous forms, okay, or past participles too. So dancing is my hobby in this situation. Dancing, okay, is a non-finite verb, okay, and of course we have stolen water is sweet, okay, we're stolen, okay, is another non-finite verb here. Lastly, we have regular and irregular verbs. Regular verbs are those verbs that carry D or ED as their past tense markers. So we have bake, baked, where D is added to bake. Okay, that's a regular verb. Cook, we have cooked. Okay, we have chased, we have changed. Okay, either letter D or letters E and D. And finally, the regular verbs are those verbs that, of course, to have their past tense or past participle forms, you have to completely change the verb forms. So you have short, which is the same thing as short in the past form, cut, the same thing as cut in the past form, but we have break now. It becomes broke, not breaked. Do you get that? Okay, we have stink, we have stank. Okay? So, we'll be taking your questions in the stream section of the Google Classroom. And don't forget a task to help you um, put all those things that you have learned in today's class has been set for you. See you in the next class. Have a blessed day. Bye.